Shalom Ras Tefari Ine Ras Yadinos Tefari Name. All right, we want to touch on um, the subject matter of prophecy in Ethiopia in this present time since the double the double hit against church and state, church and state. No doubt, most of you all have heard or um, will hear, but hopefully you've you've already heard that. Um, the Ethiopian um, Archbishop, uh, um, whom they call Abuna uh, Paulos, and others um, derisively call him Abuna Diablos. But we don't want to get into that. Some of our people, actually, some Rastafari heard that, and they also said, and I said, hold up for a moment. You know what Abuna means? And, you know, they said, Bishop, this and that. I said, no, Abuna, in the goodness, it means our father. Right, you know, um, Abuna Sheba Shemaim, or, or that's actually Vino Sheba Shemaim in the Hebrew, but um, um, Abuna Zebe Semayat, Abuna Zebe, our Father who art in heaven. So if you say Abuna um, Menamen Diablos, right, then basically you're saying our Father, you understand the devil, and, and maybe that's a Freudian slip or something like that, and we suspect that. Yovas because a lot of the Ethiopians are, are happy, it seems, about the, these events. The careless Ethiopians, not really recognizing the bigger picture, the more prophetic um, picture, and that's very pathetic that they don't see the bigger picture. It's interesting that they announced that Al Shabaab, the so called Islamicist um, terrorist group of uh, Somalia, they announced that, well, Ethiopia is going to fall. Now, most folks would, most of us would dismiss that. Normally, we would dismiss that, but since we have started to study um, John's Word and the Divine Word and, 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 and the prophecies, we really cannot dismiss that. You remember the first shall be last, the last shall be first, and we're coming to the so-called end of an age, right? I mean, we're, we're at the time, they said it's already into the new millennium, but there are certain prophetic signs that still are to be manifested, right, and still to be revealed. So the word that we have to say right now is that we need to pray as, as the faithful Rastafari. We need to pray for Ethiopia. And then according to the revelation of I-9 divine heritage, we need to pray for Ethiopia. And Ethiopians also need to pray for their leaders. You understand? Know Pray for their leaders. Even if you dislike the uh, Melis and this um, Aulos, leave those judgments to Egeziahir Alotusabhat. Leave those judgments to him because right now where we're at, you know understand? What right now, what, what, what time are we at and where we're at? You know understand? What what's really going on in this world? You know what saying? What's really going on in this particular um? world system. Now, there's a song that we want to share right here. First of all, we're going to read this in the English. It's Psalm 122. We're going to call this Pray for Ethiopia. It says, I was glad when they said, well, first of all, it's a song of degrees of David. And we touched on that in the past series, these songs of degrees. And notice, wow, Notice, if you will, this is one, two, two, right? This is one, two, two. It says, I was glad when they said to me, or when they said to I and I and I and I, let I and I, make I and I go into the house of Egeziyavi Herlotu Subhan, into the house of the King of Kings and his Christ. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is build it as a city that is compact together whither the tribes go up the tribes of Egeziyahir Lotusubhat of the sustainer of Yahweh Baruchu blessed be he of Jah Rastafari to the testimony of Israel to the testimony of the black beta Israel I and I, the Falashes of the West, to give thanks 
to the name of Egezi Abiher, of Kedamawi Haila Shalase, of Haila Shalase first. The Shiyume Egezi Abiher. For there are set thrones of judgment. The thrones of the house of great King Dawit. Pray for the peace, the shalom, the salam of Jerusalem, which is Addis Ababa for I and I and I. They shall prosper. They shall prosper that love thee. Shalom, peace, salam be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Salam, Shalom, be within the I and I and I and I. Because of the Beta because of the house of the sustainer, the king of kings, Amlakachin, our God, Abatachin, our father, I will seek thy good. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, we are in some very interesting days and time. We cannot and should not neglect the resource of prayer and that prayer being faithful prayer, Yovas, because many of the things that we will see, Yovas, and as many of the things that we have seen, are not things that we expected, not things that we wanted, and not things that were seem to be in our best interest especially I and I as diaspora, but then we must recall the word. You understand? We must recall the word and bring the word to mind that all things work towards the good, right, of those who love Jah, the true and living God, and who are called according to his purpose. So we really need to take a moment to headrest with Jah in the name of Joshua, of Yeshua, and check out, well, what is I and I purpose? And have I and I been called? And if I and I have been called, and we recognize his purpose, then in spirit and in truth, we need to be about that. We need to support the Ethiopian monarchy, I and I royal family, as well as all Rastafari and HIM institutions. You understand? And, and and, and groups out there, especially those who are of the true and living faith, Yehovah San, in other words, who are true, Yehovah San, in spirit and in truth. That doesn't mean that, you know, you know, we, we are peculiar people, my brothers and sisters. We are peculiar people, and we just want to say this prayer right here for Ethiopia. And before we sum up, we just would like to say this prayer for Ethiopia in the Amharic language as well. Mm hmm Especially at a time like this, when I and I enemies, all right, the enemies of the King of Kings, and make no mistake about it, they're the enemies of the King of Kings. Many of them say they didn't like Melis. Then they will tell us that they didn't like um, Mengistu. Then they will tell us that they didn't like His Imperial Majesty. So we have to ask ourselves, who do they like? And really, we have to ask ourselves, what are they like? You understand many who are rejoicing over this and not recognizing the storm clouds that are gathering. Here's a psalm here in the Mesmur Dawit, Besama Ab, or Wala Woman says the Kadu, Sahadu Amlak, Mesmur Meto Haya An, Meto Haya Hulet. Ye Dawit ye me arig mesmur. Wede egziavi herbait in heed, balun gize desaling. Jerusalem hoy, igrochachin ba da baba yesha komu. Jerusalem is a restarswa in the tegete kete chikatama tesher talech. Ye egzi avi harinna sim ya mesegnuzen. 
ለኢስራኤል ምስክር ሊሆኑ የእግዚአብሔር ነገዶች ወደዚያ ይወጣሉ ዙፋኖች በዚያ ለፈር ተቀምጠዋልና የዳዊት ቤተ ዙፋኖች ለየሩሰለም ሰላምን ለምኑ አንተነማ ለሚወድዱ ለማት ይሁን በኃይል ሰላም በጌጠኛ ቤተህም ለማት ይሁን ስለ ወንድሞቼ ስለ ባልንጀሮቼ በውስጥሽ ሰላም ይሁን አሉ ስለ አምላካችን ስለ እግዚአብሔር ቤት ላንቺ መልካምነትሽን ፈለግ አሜን እና አሜን ሽሎም ራስ